I saw a dark and stormy ocean. Over it the black clouds hung heavily. Through them every now and then vivid lightning flashed and loud thunder rolled while the winds moaned and the waves rose and foamed. In that ocean I saw myriads of poor human beings plunging and floating, shouting and shrieking, cursing and struggling and drowning, and as they cursed and screamed, they rose and shrieked again, and then some sank to rise no more. I saw out of this dark, angry ocean a mighty rock that rose up with its summit towering high above the black clouds that overhung the stormy sea. And all around the base of this rock, I saw a vast platform. Onto this platform, I saw with delight a number of the poor, struggling, drowning wretches continually climbing out of the angry ocean. And I saw that a few of those who were already safe on the platform were helping the poor creatures still in the angry waves. Here and there were some who actually jumped into the water, regardless of all the consequences, in their passion to rescue the perishing. But what puzzled me most was the fact that though all of them had been rescued at one time or another from the ocean, nearly everyone seemed to have forgotten all about it. It seemed the memory of its darkness and danger no longer troubled them at all. And what seemed equally strange and perplexing to me was that these people did not even seem to have any care about the poor perishing ones who were struggling and drowning right before their eyes, many of whom were their own husbands and wives, brothers and sisters, and even their own children. Now this astonishing unconcern could not have been the result of ignorance or lack of knowledge, because they lived right in full sight of it all. Many even went regularly to hear lectures or sermons in which the awful state of these poor drowning creatures was described. Those on the platform to whom God called out were so taken up with their own trades and professions, their money and pleasures, their family, their religions and arguments about it, that they did not even listen to the cry that came to them from God who had himself gone down into the sea. If they heard it, they did not heed it. They did not care. And so the multitude went on right before them, struggling and shrieking, and drowning in the darkness.